or billions across the galaxy have been waiting with bated breath for the announcement of a fourth season of Seth MacFarlane's utopian sci-fi series, The Orville. It's been a long enough wait since the end of its third season for fans to become worried. What if New Horizons was it? What if we never get another season of adventures from our favorite crew serving aboard our favorite ship in the Union? Has the series been cancelled? Why is it taking so freaking long? These are valid questions for any fan of the Orville to ask. We want more. Well, I'm happy to say I have some good news for you, fellow Orvillians. No, the Orville hasn't been cancelled, though it also hasn't been renewed. Oh wait! Or has it totally been renewed for a fourth season and just hasn't been announced by the studios yet. Here's some really great news for you. Take a listen. When coming on as a guest on the Mike Henry podcast, Seth MacFarlane had something very important and exciting to tell us, the fans of the Orville. Anyway, so yeah, sometimes you gotta you gotta uh you gotta earn yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You, the you, one you, you want. give them even you at give your them, stage. Yeah, even at my you've been stage. Hugely even successful. My stage. But but you know, it's like with like anything, the passion projects aren't always like. Look, I, uh, the Orville was a passion project. I, I say was, but I don't really mean was because there there will be more. Seth said that there will be more when referring to the future of the Orville series. More doesn't mean less. In fact, it means more. There will be more from the Orville coming up, but you might be wondering, what does more the Orville mean? A movie or perhaps a few new comic books? Perhaps an animated series? Or does he mean a brand new season of the show? The Orville season four. I'm happy to say I have the answer to many of those questions coming up in just a bit. I'm sure you're wondering if there's going to be more live action content from the Orville, why isn't it in production? yet. There's a few reasons for it. Seth MacFarlane is a busy guy. He's currently under contract with Universal creating content for NBC slash Peacock, like the new Ted series, which was a massive hit and has just recently started production on season two. He's also in post-production for the new Naked Gun remake due out next year. In the Mike Henry interview, Seth said that even at his level, you have to give the studios what they want if you want them to let you make what you want. In this case, Case, he's talking about the Orville, his passion project. Once Seth has fulfilled his promise to make the projects he's under contract to make, the contract will then allow him to return his focus to the Orville. So the more you see from Seth, the happier we'll be because it means we're that much closer to getting back to the 25th century. I also know that Seth wants to produce a lost episode of the Orville from season three that they were unable to make due to travel restraints. Sympathy for the Devil is a fully scripted adventure from the Orville ready to be shot and put on our screens when the time comes. Seth was so passionate about this story that he released it as a novella for fans to enjoy. The Audible version is narrated by none other than Bruce Boxleitner and is available now by clicking the link in the description. But is Sympathy for the Devil going to be the story for a movie about the Orville or will it be placed within a new season as an episode? I'm happy to say I have the answer to that question. So is the Orville coming back for a fourth season? The answer I have, my friends, is yes. The Orville will return to our screens with an all new season. For years now, I have had the absolute best sources around when it comes to getting news and information about the Orville. Most of you already know this. And of course, it's been aggravating as a fan of the series to have to wait to hear about the show getting renewed or not. I simply love the Orville and desperately want want to go on more spacefaring adventures. Myself and a few other insiders in the Orville community have been privileged with the information that we don't have to wait for the Orville to get renewed or not, because it already has been renewed. Yes, I've been told that the Orville has already been picked up for a fourth season. It hasn't been announced by the studios to the public yet, but it's already in the books. They're just waiting for Seth MacFarlane to wrap up a couple of the projects he's got going right now, so that his contract will free him up to get back to working on more Orville episodes. This is basically a situation I already assumed was happening, but it's nice to get the inside confirmation, you guys. I don't know exactly when production starts for the Orville season four, but I've got my fingers crossed for a late 2024, early 2025 production schedule. I really need to know what happens with Topa and the krill Mocklin Alliance and Ed's daughter. How is married life going for Claire and Isaac? Will Gordon ever find love and 
will John and Tala find a way to reignite their spark? What about Ed and Kelly? We need to know these things. Disney and Hulu haven't made a public renewal announcement yet, but why are they taking so long? Do they have some sort of game plan? Are they simply waiting until Seth is officially ready to begin? Or are they hoping to make an announcement when the all new guide to the Orville book hits shelves this September? It'll be a great way to boost sales for sure. Either way, I think the fandom is ready now for the announcement. Just taking the stress off of our shoulders would be the best reason to announce the Orville. We want more, more of it. Let me know if you think they should just announce it already, even if it's too early by their standards. For all the latest news, discussions, and interviews about the Orville, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video so YouTube shares it with more Orvillians. I'll see you very soon, and remember, we all do better when we all do better. Together. Love you, bye-bye.